there. But they put, I mean, they did great work. Made me look good, <laughs> whether That's I was or us. not. That's why we and the kids, us. yeah. All right, yeah. we're ready, Jake. Want to go ahead and <clears throat> traditional say it's sound, sound, tr sound test, sound test. Well, okay. Just to make sure, so we don't get yeah. no, go right. ahead and Introduce yourself again. And okay. Tell us your name and one more time. And we'll, you could spell it too. Yeah. Say okay. your name and spell it. That's good. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. My name is Susie Edens. S U S I E E D E N S. Okay. Where do you teach? I teach at Latta High School, and right. that's at just on the outside of Ada, Oklahoma. Okay, I, I knew it was in that. My first job was in Sulphur. Oh, so it is. it's been a while. Yes. But I, I knew it was in that area of the yeah, world. That is. Now, how did you get involved with? Now, do I need before I start? Just, do I need to look at the camera yeah, or him? Just look right you and me. Yeah. Okay. Just pretend he's not there. Okay. <laughs> he's quiet. So how did you get involved with, with OERB and, and, and your education efforts? I, many years ago, I field tested the, the beginning curriculum for the high school core energy. Uh, that's it's probably six or seven years ago. And um, my students in my classroom got an opportunity to, to uh, practice with some of their materials, had a great time. and. Uh, then uh, I became a master teacher just this last year due to Dr. Wright. I had met her during the summer at a workshop that I was helping to lead and she came and spoke and then she suggested me uh, getting involved with this and, and I've, been, I've uh, begun uh, the master t teacher process last fall and have found it very rewarding. What kind of things does, does the program focus on with high school kids? With the high school kids, there's a lot of um, physical science and chemistry. There's, uh, and, and also there's a bioremediation aspect to it that brings in the life sciences also. The, we look at some engineering aspects of getting the oil out of the ground by and the force that's needed to raise it to, to different from different depths of wells and up to the surface. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like it's got a lot more practical stuff than some of the it you know, is based lessons that Right. It is very Oklahoma related. Uh, so we can actually see some of the issues and the problems in the industry, but it certainly ties directly into the curriculum that we're teaching in our classes. Okay. How much of a, of a chunk does this fit into you? Is this a, a week-long program or is this an ongoing? No. Uh, How does that the curriculum into? probably, it's somewhat at the teacher's discretion, but I would think a couple of weeks at least that it could fit into the curriculum uh, at that point, you know. Depends on which class it is too. If I'm looking at a chemistry class versus physical science versus mm. biology. Okay. And what, what kind of support does OERB provide? To, oh, to OERB is tremendous. The, the teachers that walk out of these workshops uh, have anywhere 500 to 700 dollars worth a box full of, of equipment and you can get teachers to come to workshops anytime you say we've got free equipment for use in the classroom we're there <laughs> and and it really um, it helps these cash straps schools especially probably even rural rural areas more than the big city areas uh, but I know we're universally looking for more equipment and resources for our classrooms. Okay. Well, I'm sure in, in your rural area, you're more likely to see this stuff. Absolutely. Unless, unless, unless we're down the street. The right. Yeah. Some, of my, you'll see this. some of my students, their parents, you know, obviously work in the oil fields. And, and so they understand the relevancy to that. And these, many of these students go on to choose careers in the oil and gas industry. I need from you. Good. Last year, I dropped my wife off at the door. That's the closest I've been. <laughs> Maybe she could just come in sometime. I'm working on it. It's right. just hard to get there. Okay. We'll do the same thing. Could you say and spell your, your first and last name? My name is Carol Herzl. 
C A R O L H I R T Z E L. Okay. And how did you get involved with, with OERB and its education efforts? I was uh, teaching in Edmond schools, and Dr. Wright was in the same school system. And she wanted me to come down to OERB for a one day conference. She assured me it would just be for one day. That was in 2004. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> and and what, what do you think the value of this program is? This program is um, invaluable to a lot of our teachers, especially in the rural areas. Uh, I've had workshops where we've had teachers, and when they finish, they said, this is all the science equipment that I have in my school. And now I have enough to teach for, you know, four or five scientific activities. Hmm. And what kind of what kind of resources are when when you come as a teacher? What can OERB provide for you? Well, they provide the curriculum. Um, we have curriculum from kindergarten all the way up through high school. And whenever the teachers come to the workshop and receive the curriculum, they also receive all of the equipment that's needed to teach that curriculum. Mm -hmm. okay. And you have a support system because the, they have their emails available and now teachers can communicate with other teachers about this um, oil and gas industry, which is the number one industry in the state. And so we think it's important to teach our students about that industry. I should get extra points from OERB for that. I think, uh, I, I, I think she's writing a check as we speak. Yeah. Okay, that works for me. Pretty simple, okay. huh? Right. 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 So, mm -hmm. I understand. Got to be right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever you are. Tell us your name and title. I'm Carla Shapercutter. I'm the education director for OERB. Okay, let's spell your last name for us. S C H A E P E R K O E T T E R. I do it in groups of three. <laughs> and the yeah. Carla is that with a C? C. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, but I, yeah. it helps him later yeah. to yes. go back and yeah, that was absolutely. <laughs> so tell me real quick, what's, give me the basic description of what OERB does on the educational end of things. Well, uh, we started our curricula back in 1996, and we started with our Fossils to Fuel program, which is an elementary or science program. Um, and then we continue to develop curriculum from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. And now we have eight programs where we host workshops for teachers around the state. And they go out and um, we provide the teachers everything they need to teach the curriculum in their classroom. So we give them all the materials, we give them the curriculum guide, and we go through it with them with our master teachers. And then um, when they're done at our workshop that day, they bring it back to their classroom and they could teach the curriculum in their classroom. How long do those typically last? The workshops are usually one Saturday and um, about eight to four is our longest workshop. And we have teachers come, we go all over the state with our workshops and we usually do about 14 a year. And then teachers come from all over and go into the classroom that best suits what they're teaching by subject matter and um, by grade level. Okay. See, that was pretty simple, wasn't mm -hmm. it? That gives us the, did you have anything else to, uh, to tie together? Did you, I, did you kind of name off the type of equipment that you guys get? Okay. Sure. Yeah. What kind of things do you provide for? Um, well, it depends on the curricula, but we do offer a lot of science equipment that teachers can use, um, balance scales, um, graduated cylinders, um, beakers, all sorts of science equipment. Then we also have books and trade books that we put into the kits. Um, we include a lot of um, uh, math materials in our math, core energy math curriculum, so we'll provide calculators. Um, things like graph paper, everyday items, that anything that the teachers need to teach our curriculum is included in the kit. Um, we want to make sure that teachers don't go out and have to buy any materials on their own. We want to make sure that we give them everything that they need to teach the curriculum properly. Okay. Perfect. Cool. You good, Jay? 